Okay, what up YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Photoshop tutorial. In today's episode, we're going to create this crystal ball and or glass ball effect. Um, and I'm going to show you how to create it really easy and really fast. Before I start, I'm just going to say thank you for even clicking on this video. It means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. Okay, and without any further ado, let's jump straight into the video. So, of course, you're going to need to insert your photo into the Photoshop. And after you've done that, uh, just go to File and New in order to create a new file. Uh, we're going to call this one a like Crystal Ball. Uh, and as for the width and height, in this video I chose 1920 and 1080 and for the resolution I also put 300 but as for the width and height you can choose pretty much whatever you want but in this tutorial I'm going to do, I'm going to work with these numbers and press OK once you're done. Now go to the picture layer, uh, press Command uh, Control J in order to duplicate this layer and just drag it to your project. Okay, so in order to resize it, press Ctrl plus T and just place it where you want, pretty much. Uh, if you want to, you can use these little square squares on the edges in order to resize it even further. Uh, next thing you're going to do is just add a new layer and go to this ellipse tool. Uh, it for you is probably going to be a rectangle tool, so just right click it and select ellipse tool. So let's just draw one. In order to make perfect circle and to save like proportions, just hold shift and create it. Okay, this is good. Now you want to, to center it, so <clears throat> click on this rectangle selection tool, just select the entire work area. Click on the move tool and here in the upper part of the project you can see these shapes. So click this one and this one in order to center it. Okay, now go to the layer. In order to deselect this, just select also selection tool and just click anywhere you want. <clears throat> now go to your layer one, which is your photo. And just control plus J in order to duplicate it put it above your ellipse. Next thing we're going to do, make sure that this layer is selected, go to filter, desort and spherize, uh, make sure that the amount is set to 100, so this is going to make it look like a sphere or like a ball. Perfect. Uh, and now just right click it and create clipping mask. Once again click Ctrl plus T because we need to reshape it, resize it, and just drag all the edges to the edges of your circle, like this. Okay, so we need now we need to flip this picture horizontally because when you watch through the crystal ball, it's the picture is reversed. So just go to edit, transform, and flip horizontal. Okay, this is a mistake. Uh, just control plus Z in order to undo and we need to <clears throat> flip it vertically yeah this is much better uh, next thing you're going to do is just plus, control plus J this ellipse tool and drag it above your layer uh, turn the fill to one zero percent because we don't actually need it we just need it for the <clears throat> edges and right click it <clears throat> and go to the blending options. Uh, you can also do that here, fill opacity, turn it to zero. And we are just going to need the inner glow. So check it and let's change it. So make sure that blend mode is turned to screen and let's turn, on, turn up the opacity a bit. Okay, so this is good. Uh, now go to the elements and Let's turn up the size quite a bit. Um, okay, so I put it about 57 and that's pretty good. And for the quality, you can leave it like this. So now press OK. Okay, so next thing you want to do is right click the lips layer, this one, 
and create clipping mask because we, on, we only want this effect to be applied to our main ellipse. So let's now let's add curves because we want to make this picture this sphere like stand out and let's bring up the darker parts of the picture uh, the lighter parts of the picture. Also make sure you right click then create clipping mask because we want to apply it only to our to our ellipse layer. And let's bring down the darker parts. Yeah, this sword looks much better. Okay, so that's good. Press X. So see, it's like brings it that glassy look, if you know what I mean. And next thing, we want to just add more shine to the picture. So let's add new layer. Right click and create clipping mask, of course, because we are only we are only applying it to the lips. Go to our brush tool, uh, for mode select normal, and make sure white is set as a primary color. Uh, in order to like zoom in like this, just hold Alt and with your uh, scroll wheel, I'm not sure if it's called like that, just go inwards and outwards. So let's add it, and if you want to resize it, just these circle, uh, square brackets. So let's add it here, yeah just like this, it's perfect. And let's select, uh, and let's select mode overlay. Now control plus J this layer because we want to duplicate it and create clipping mask. Now this might look stupid but select normal for this one and let's turn down opacity. Okay, mistake. Go to your previous layer and let's turn down opacity because we won't, I forgot to do that. And yeah, it is pretty good. I set it up at about 21%. And I'll go back to the layer we copied it, which is set to normal. And this one you can turn down to 41. Yeah, it looks good. And let's add mask to this one. Once again, select brush. But this one select black, this this time select black is your primary tool. And let's turn down opacity to about 24, 24 because you want to fix it because this, this way it's standing out too much. So just draw on the edges of this and make sure you draw on the mask tool because if you draw here then nothing will happen because it's overlay. Okay, that's good. Now let's add this a few more times. Add a new layer, right click it, create clipping mask, uh, turn, down, turn up opacity to 100, and let's make it bigger. Okay, so this is perfect. And so let's select the mode as overlay, and just turn it down to around, um, yeah, this is pretty good, so at around 51. See, it's, it's already looks much better. And let's add one more. I also create clipping mask. And for this one, we're going to go to your uh, rectangular selection tool. And let's add a rectangle. Uh, go to your bucket tool. Oh, once again, if you don't have it, just right click it and it's going to be here. And select white as your primary color. And just draw inside of it. So now go to edit, because we need to transform it, transform, and warp, warp, and just make it like this, because you want that extra shadow, extra shadowy effect, glowy effect, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty good. Just make sure that uh, this line and this line are like parallel. They're, they're the same. Okay, and once when you once you done that, press OK. Let's turn let's turn down the pass a little bit. Okay, so like this is pretty good. And let's add a mask because these layer these lines are just sticking out so badly and it looks so Go to your brush tool, select black, 
and let's turn down opacity a bit and make it much bigger and let's just okay turn down turn down a bit let's just draw on these edges so we make this line disappear again just turn down opacity as much as you need and draw until this line disappears okay so, so it's going to take me some time so I'm just going to skip this one to speed it up okay once you finish uh, because this doesn't look perfect just turn down opacity even more okay so now it looks much better and now let's go back to this layer of ours to this picture layer go to filter uh, go to liquify <clears throat> because you want this to stand out even more to make it look even more like a <clears throat> sphere so select this bloat tool because it's going to like spread the center towards the edges and it's going to make it even more circular and put a size yeah to be almost the same size as our ball is and just click it a few times not too much because it's going to ruin it just a few times okay this is perfect and press ok so our ball now is pretty much done uh, now let's just make it stand out even more so go to our layer to our background layer we can turn it off go to our layer which is this picture in the background and let's create levels let's add levels to it right click it and create clipping mask even though we don't even need it and let's bring up the dark the blacks yeah to about 13 and let's turn down the whites to around um, yeah this is good so to around 221 And let's go to make sure that this picture layer is selected. <laughs> go to filter, <clears throat> go to blur, and go to lens blur. And this radius one, just so you see, it may, it's just it tells us how blur you want our picture to be. Sorry, my computer is a bit slower for this. So let's bring it down to around 16, 17, something like that. So it's going to make the background a bit blurry so this way our sphere is standing out a lot okay and now you can add like some effects to it let's add for example brightness and contrast to make it even more stand out so let's turn down brightness a bit because if you turn it up it's just going to be too much white and to about minus six or something and let's add a bit contrast and yeah that's Pretty much it. I really, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. This is actually the first time I'm using this voiceover, so it's it was a bit harder for me, and I'm sorry if I was just terrible with it. And yeah, also if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see me do next, feel free to comment it down below. I will be watching all the comments and replying to all of them, of course. And once again, if you stayed. Till the end of the video i really appreciate it and i really it, it really means a lot to me and yeah that's pretty much it also if you enjoyed uh feel free to check my other videos they do not have voice um sorry for this video i'm going to use my voice in pretty much every video so uh, if it annoys you just tell it in the comment and i will not use it <laughs> And yeah, this is pretty much it, so I really hope you enjoy once again, and see you in the next video. Goodbye!